uh, President Makisal and appreciate his stewardship uh, in putting together this conversation about Africa, food, and the future. Let me maybe contextualize uh, where Kenya is in um, addressing myself to two issues, uh, two different uh, crops. On one hand, we have tea. On the other, we have horticulture. Um, just to give you some numbers, uh, tea, um, we have close to 650,000, 700,000 farmers. In horticulture, we have about 50,000 farmers. We generate a billion dollars from tea, uh, maybe a billion uh, point two. We generate another billion dollars from um, horticulture. You can clearly see that for 10% of the land we do our tea, we earn the same from horticulture. And the difference is in five areas that informs the trajectory of Kenya's investment in agriculture. For our tea, uh, among the best crops we have, um, uh, giving us good returns, the challenge is for the 1.7 million acres, we are getting the same amount of uh, income as 10% that we have in horticulture. The difference is that, number one, seeds and fertilizer make a whole difference. Um, our seed investment, fertilizer investment in horticulture is higher than our tea and the difference is as day as night. Number two is mechanization. There is mechanization in our horticulture from irrigation uh, through processing and that is why we have 10 times higher returns in our horticulture. Number three is there are more young people in our horticulture than there are in our tea industry. The participation of young people is as significant as you can see from the returns we get from our two sectors. The more young people are in a sector, the greater the returns we get from that sector. Number three is the participation of the private sector. We have a greater participation of the private sector in our horticulture sector than we do in our tea sector. Again, the returns are tenfold. And finally, is technology. The greater the participation of technology, the greater the infusion of technology, the better the returns for our agricultural sector. So, what is Kenya doing? Number one, we are expanding our fertilizer input this year. We have 600,000 metric tons made available to farmers, and it is so clear to us as government that the application of fertilizer, the amount is directly proportional to the output of our agricultural sector. There is no magic, there is no miracle. It's just if you have sufficient fertilizer in the correct quantities, in the uh, correct um, uh, prescription, you get the outcome. Number two, we are increasing our farming under irrigation from 650,000 acres to 3 million acres in the next five years. And we have roped in the private sector to provide 
uh, construction of dams. We are building 100 mega dams in Kenya and 1,000 micro dams to support our irrigation uh, potential and production. And number three, mechanization. We are increasing our mechanization potential from 40% to 75% in the next five years. Again, we have uh, an ecosystem that uh, will bring the private sector into the mechanization of our agriculture, again, so that we can progressively walk away because there is a reason why smallholder agriculture is predominant in our continent. It is simply because of mechanization. You do not, uh, uh, the extent to which a farmer can do their land is limited to the kind of mechanization and technology they have. And therefore, mechanization becomes a big component of productivity and production. And finally, we will be doing our agricultural extension service, uh, supply of subsidized fertilizer on an e voucher system that is supported by technology. Again, to eliminate pilferage, corruption, and to enhance efficiency. That, in our opinion, is the way into the future. In conclusion, let me say that the fact that we are having a conversation so many of us as heads of state from our good continent and we are discussing food is um, it's not a very interesting thing to do. I think we should be discussing beyond food 60 years after independence. We should be discussing about how agriculture is not just going to feed but it's going to create jobs, it's going to create revenue, it's going to add value, we're going to do export, and that is really the trajectory that the people of this continent expect us as heads of state to have a conversation about. Thank you. Thank you very much, President Ruto. Mind-boggling numbers there, $1 billion um, from tea and $1 billion in hot.